What is up? What is up? What is up? All right, guys. So I'm getting ready to pay taxes. So I want to clean up all my banking transaction and my different bank accounts. Now, the good thing about QuickBooks is that it categorizes your income and expenses. The bad part about QuickBooks is that it thinks every transaction is related to your business. So a lot of these transactions are just from personal use that I'm not going to write off. It's not income. It's not a business expense. So I'm worried about I'm I'm worried about getting this number down here down to zero. Um, here's your bank account balance. Here's what you've your profit and loss from that business bank account. So if you want to look at your register, go over here. This number comes from everything that has been deposited in that account as a business expense, and everything that's been as business income and everything that's been written off as a business expense, which, which ultimately gets you your seven, six, nine, one or whatever you guys are looking at. Um, so really right here in QuickBooks, this is your profit and loss this is how much money you've made. And that's probably all the money that, that you've spent, spent a lot of that money. I blew it. Okay. So what do I want to do with the transactions that aren't income or expense for my business? Like they say, use your business checking account for as much as you can, but it's almost, I guarantee most business owners don't use exactly their business checking account. They're using personal stuff. They're trying to write stuff, stuff off with personal checking accounts. It's not all just business. So what I want to do here is get this number down to zeros. We're going to clean up our QuickBooks. We're going to, uh, we're going to, uh, exclude a lot of this stuff. So if it is, um, tax, if it is a tax write-off, if it is an expense, is if it is an office supply or you, a 1040 or an independent contractor or something, yeah, go ahead and add it to your QuickBooks. But if you just want to clean it up, I got my new transactions over here. I want to go ahead and click on all these things. Actually, that is income. I have, I have to add that to QuickBooks. But the things that I have in here, liquor store, $11, probably about like a six pack of beer. Uh, I haven't driven to meet a, a client in a while. So I'm going to Exclude my Valero, another liquor store, in and out Senor Ponchos. Wow, this is really bad. It's all just like beer and burritos. 7-Eleven, probably, I don't know, Cowshed Bar. All this stuff I'm not planning on writing off. So keep in mind, I just checked off about 10 things. Right here, our number is 534. Let's go ahead and exclude selected. So this should be down to like 524. Okay, so we did exactly 10. Say you screwed up. Say you excluded something that you can write off. Well, you go back in here and just click undo. So hopefully this made sense. It helps you, helps you clean up your transaction in your QuickBooks online. And uh, good luck in this. In the next video, we'll talk about matching.